Hey everyone. So recently a really good friend of mine texted me to ask if I could make a video um, for leaders who are being forced to make really big, scary decisions right now. And to be clear, this friend is talking about life altering decisions. Or are they furloughing people on their team? Uh, the future of their organization, what, what that will look like. They've already postponed summer programs. What will the fall look like? When will they get back to running programs again? And, and what about next spring? It's all unknown. And there are lots of leaders out there like my friend, um, some in big businesses and some in small independent businesses. You know, can I afford to pay my employees? When do I cut my losses? What now? And there are, in a way, a lot of leaders like that out there in every single family right now, facing tighter budgets and having to make tougher, scarier, bigger decisions. So for all of you leaders out there in business, families, churches, communities, organizations, um, I wanna do the one thing that I can do, which is to bring my passion for nerdy social science resilience type stuff um, to provide you some reassurances, four of them to be exact. Reassurance number one, what the research in heuristics and biases and emotions tells us, in fact, is that high confidence in decision-making is actually often unrelated to the quality of the decision. The more pessimistic, negative emotions that leaders are feeling right now are probably actually helping you to make some of the best, most accurate, most informed decisions that you have ever made. So when we feel positive emotions, we tend to more consistently rely on our heuristics um, for our decision making, which is just like that fast thinking type stuff. When we feel negative emotions, though, we actually tend to seek broader information and then evaluate that broader information more critically. So my reassurance for you is that if you are feeling right now the weight of your decision, if you're uncertain about the decisions that you're making and uncertain about the future, you and your brain are probably doing the right thing. Reassurance number two. I hate to say it, but if the decisions you're making right now feel really painful, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That is kind of probably actually the place that you want to be. If the decisions that you're making today are for the long term, like nine to 18 month benefit of your organization and your people, then you're doing it right. It means that you're fighting against our behavioral instinct to make decisions based on the short term losses and gains. So what might feel good tomorrow versus what might feel good longer from now, months, years away. Reassurance number three. If you're doing your best right now to be transparent with the people that you lead and that you love um, as you make these really tough decisions, know that you're doing it right. And I want to share an excerpt from you from Brene Brown's book called Dare to Lead, because I'm pretty sure that it could not be more fitting for this video and this moment in time for leaders out there. So on page um, 105 of Dare to Lead, Brene Brown says, when we are managing during a time of scarcity or deep uncertainty, it is imperative that we embrace the uncertainty. We need to tell our teams that we will share as much when we're able, when we're able to share. Later, she says, there is incredible relief and power in naming and normalizing fear and uncertainty. We have to find the courage to look back at the people who are looking at us for leadership and say, this is difficult. There are no simple answers. There is pain and fear that would be easy to unload on others, but that would be unfair and out of our integrity. We will walk through this in a way that makes us feel proud. It will be hard, but we will do it together. Reassurance number four. If you are feeling some big emotions right now, lean into that. While they might be catching you off guard in a way, I would say that it shouldn't be unexpected. We are human, we are not robots. So I want you to grant yourself permission to feel all of those emotions. If you're actually gonna do that, um, you're probably likely going to have to first grant yourself permission to pause. Just pause more often than you're currently pausing. And I don't mean pause from work to scroll your Facebook feed um, or to catch a few minutes of the morning news. Literally, just pause and sit and tune inward. Breathe. Ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? And notice how your body responds. That's it pause and inquire within. You may be surprised at your power to tune in, and you may also be surprised at the information that your body gives you. I have so much more that I wanna share with you all about making decisions in tough times, but I wanted to at least get these four reassurances out to you as quickly as I could. Um, 
but please look for more. I, I want to share my story of the conversation I had with my friend. Um, and I, I think there's lots of other strategies from the social science and resilience world that we could apply to making really making better decisions. So I'm hoping that I can share that with you all um, in the coming weeks. Until then, stay home, stay safe, and stay connected.